Hello, my name is Moses Anderson, and I've been studying personalities for over a decade now. When studying personalities, you can find out whom you're dealing with or what they're all about. This book was written so that other individuals who are studying different types of personalities can be aware of the good side and the bad side of that personality. The world is constantly changing. There are different techniques, different styles for different situations. You have to be a multi-dimensional thinker to survive in today's society. This book is from my point of view and is written so that anyone could understand it. I hope you enjoy the book and I hope it will serve you well in your endeavors. Hello. I would like to welcome you to my book titled, Mr. Personality. I would like to take out the time to thank the individuals who had a hand in completing this book. I'd like to thank God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Without them, nothing is possible. And to my wife, who have put up with my every changing personalities and keeping me in the light and safe from harm. My prize winning guardian, I love you very much. Thanks to my mother-in-law, Eleanor Lee, Al Baby, who has inspired me to do great things. Thanks to Dr. Gooch, who listened to me and inspired me to look deeper into myself. Thanks to my parents, who always kept me in the right track to be successful. Thanks to my grandmothers, who reinforce my spirit. Thanks to all the individuals who helped me structure and change my character for the good of mankind. And last, thanks to my enemies for keeping me on my toes and making me aware of the things that you are capable of doing. These are the breakdowns of the different personalities. Artisans, subcategory, promoter, crafter, performer, composer. Guardian, subcategory, supervisor, inspector, provider, protector. Idealist, subcategory, teacher, counselor, champion, healer. Rationals, subcategory, field marshal, mastermind, inventor, architect. This is a personality test that I designed to help you see what type of personality that you lean toward, whether an artisan, rational, guardian, or idealist. When the cell phone rings, do you make haste to get it first or hope anyone will answer it? Are you likely paying attention, then soul searching, or soul searching, then alert? Is it terrible to have your head in the clouds, or have a routine way of life. With individuals, are you usually more unbending or kind? Are you more at home in making nitpicking decisions or respectable decisions? Is mess in the workplace something you would take time to clean up or put up with? Is it your way to make up your mind with haste or pick and choose at some time? Waiting in line, do you often speak with others or keep to yourself? Are you more logical than additionally or a wishful thinker? Are you more interested in what is real or what is possible? In making up your mind, are you more likely to go by facts or cravings? 
In measuring up people, do you tend to be open-minded and soulless or friendly and personal? Do you prefer agreements to be signed, stamped, and delivered or sell it on a handshake? Are you more satisfied having a finished item or work in progress? At a social event, do you talk with many, even strangers, or talk with a few friends? Do you tend to be more plain to guess or guess or plain spoken? Do you like authors who say what they mean or use bigger speech? Which do you like more, constant of thought or like-mindedness? If you must upset someone, are you usually telling it like it is or you are kind? At work, do you want your activities planned or not planned? Do you prefer final statements or introduction statements? Does speaking to strangers motivate you or irritate you? Facts speak for themselves or make principles clear. Do you find dreamers somewhat upsetting or rather fascinating? In an argument discussion, do you stick to your idea or look for reasonable ground? Is it good to be fair or merciful? At work, is it more plain for you to point out errors or try to satisfy people? Are you more comfortable after the conclusion or before the conclusion? Do you tend to speak more or listen more? Common information is usually reliable or most of the time arguable. Kids often do not make themselves useful or exercise their imagination. When in charge of others, do you tend to be inflexible or forgiving and lenient? Are you a more often a cool-headed person or a warm-hearted person? Do you prefer securing things down or looking into the possibilities? In most situations, are you more planned or not planned? Do you think of yourself as a social person or private person? Are you more down to earth as a person or unpredictable? Do you speak more in exactness or imprecisions? What is more of a compliment? There is a well-organized person or there is an emotional person. Which rules you more, your thoughts or your feelings? When finishing a product, do you like to cross your T's and dot your I's or move on to something else? Do you prefer to work to deadlines or just whenever? Are you the kind of individual who is rather talkative or listens more? Do you take what was said more factual or not factual? Do you see what's right in front of you or what can only be imagined? Is it bad to be a softy or hard nose? In trying circumstances, are you sometimes too understanding or not understanding? Do you choose rather carefully or somewhat unplanned? Are you more hurried or not hurried? At work, do you tend to be friendly with your co-workers or keep more to yourself? Do you trust your experiences or your imagination? Do you feel down to earth or not down to earth? Do you think of yourself as a tough-minded person or tender-hearted person? Do you value a logical thinker or dedicated people? Do you usually want items cleared up or just pencil in? Are you more serious and determined or easygoing? Are you a good conversationalist or a good listener? Do you prize yourself as a strong, 
hold on reality or a vivid imagination? Are you drawn to more the basics or hints? Which seems a greater fault, to be kind-hearted or unfeeling? Are you swayed more by convincing evidence or petition to appeal? Do you feel better about a conclusion or keeping your options open? Is it preferably mostly to make sure things are organized or just let things happen naturally? Are you inclined to be easy to approach or somewhat formal? In stories, do you prefer action and adventure or fantasy and heroism? Is it easier for you to put others to good use or identify with others? What do you wish more for yourself? Self-discipline or strength of emotion? Do you see yourself not easily offended or easily offended? Do you tend to take notice of a mess or opportunities for change? Are you more the same or inconsistent?